Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about axis of energy within rooms, okay? So we have to realize that rooms have three axis of energy that we have to focus on, okay? We have front to rear wall, we have side wall to side wall, and we have floor to ceiling. And a lot of you get confused about this, okay? A lot of you think, well, it's just this area, it's just this area, or it's just this area, but it's all three areas working against each other. And we know, you know, that depending on the dimensions of the room, we're going to have certain unwanted pressure problems because the energy just simply won't fit. We won't go into why that is. That's topics we've covered many, many times in other videos. But what we have to realize is that the pressure dimension or the pressure in the room is dimensionally based so whatever our dimensions are in the room then we have to realize that we're going to have the associated problems that go with those dimensions and we really focus on energy below 100 cycles that's what we want to really look at in in these small rooms because energy above 100 cycles can easily be managed energy below 100 cycles is the problem okay and those are all created by our, our dimensions of the room. So we have three axes of energy and we have three areas that have to be treated. So we know we can treat the sidewalls. We just put products on the sidewalls. The front and the rear, we know we can treat that also. But here's the dimension people forget about, the floor to ceiling dimension. So if you're serious about sound and controlling the energy in the room, you have to treat all three axes. Well, how do you treat the floor to ceiling problems with technology that's very heavy, weighs a lot? Well, you can do platforms on the floor if you can't support it in the ceiling. It doesn't matter whether you treat the ceiling or the floor. Technically, you should do both. In most rooms, the problems are so great from floor to ceiling that you need more surface area of treatment. So in an ideal world, you treat the ceiling and the floor. Well, a lot of rooms can't do that. You know, they can't install things on the ceiling that are heavy. So you can treat the floor. You can build platforms. You can put products on floor. And this is a dimension that people forget about. And it, they shouldn't because it's the smallest, usually, of the three. So it's going to create the most problems. And we see it throughout the analysis. So when we're looking at treatments, remember, type them out and position the old acronym that we work with. You got to have the proper treatment, you got to have the proper amount, and you got to put it in the right place. So we've discussed floor to ceiling, sidewall to sidewall, and front wall are the two are the three surface areas that we treat in most rooms that, that are mix or two channel rooms. So we got to have that consistency in treatment of the front wall and both side walls. And then our speakers sit here. So you kind of got that inverted U and you want to make sure that the treatment types, amounts, and position are, are wrapped around that. And you also want to make sure that the rate and level of absorption is powerful enough to deal with the problem. If you have a plus 12 or you have a plus 13 dB problem from floor to ceiling, sidewall to sidewall, or front to back, you want to make sure you have the horsepower in your treatment to do that. So three axes of energy that we have to be aware of in a room and all three need to be treated. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.